What's up everybody? I'm back at it again out here at Sandestin Resort. I'm gonna catch some bass. Hopefully they're still on beds. I know it's been a long time since my last video, but uh, time change, new job. But you know what? I'm at it. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm gonna be fishing with some friends. I hope you guys like my new Cast King sunglasses. I'm actually really liking them, so uh, we'll put them to the test today. Then I'm gonna put the new Cadet combo to the test today, and what that is is a new beginner bait caster setup for Cast King. Um, Cast King made a setup just for beginners to help them ease them into bait casting if they want to join that side of the the dark side. <laughs> I'm just playing. No, I'm more of a bait bait caster than spinning caster. But comment below which one you guys are and enjoy the video guys let's go catch some fish all right it's a little windy so forgive the wind noise i got a few rods and reel setups today um we're gonna try it look i'm just gonna walk around and maybe check out some old spots and then uh go from there this water is a little greenish dark so it's gonna be hard to see some beds but wish me luck guys i threw this big live target swim bait out and first cast I hooked up on one. Looks like it's gonna be a big swim bait day, I think. First cast I hooked up on one. Heck yeah. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Oh, don't jump. Oh my goodness. And I will have a 10 pound floor coat on here. Oh my goodness. What a first catch. A gut too. Look at that hook set. Let's go get a weight on this guy. We'll throw him back in. Alright. Zeroing it out. We're clipping him. About two and a half pounds. He feels so much bigger. I think he just laid out, that's why. Just laid some eggs. But we'll get a release, guys. Let's get a, a photo, real, if I can, real quick. Selfie photo. It's a nice one. It's really nice. All right, let's release them. See ya, buddy. Definitely a good start. Good sign. Uh, two and a half. He looked way bigger though. I think they just he's probably just laid out or something. Yeah, I see fry swimming around. Like there's some fry right there. So I think they're getting defensive and eating around the fry. Oh, I just missed a big one. You got one, another one? <laughs> I started reeling in. Of course I catch these. <laughs> I started reeling it in and one blew up on my frog. I started reeling. <laughs> I was I just, it just. There you go, Ed got him one. He just missed a giant out there, like probably the biggest one of the day. And and then they just, Mother Nature just gives him this little one for redemption. Next cast. <laughs> Nice fish. I'll take the small ones today too. I just want some fish. The giant was right off the weeds. I just made a really nice cast. The other side, this one didn't hit until the bait touched the weeds on this side. Hit right at the bay. I think the big one will bite again. Some good stuff on the good camera. Florida frog fishing. It's a weird looking frog. Oh, he's inside out. Yes. <laughs> There's did a little damage to him. Well, there frog bites on right now. There's a spot right over here. You're probably gonna like. Oh, 
Maria. It's a little bitty guy. Oh. I could probably reach down and grab him. He's right here. See ya. Quick release. This is where you need to throw that spinner bait, but you took it off. I told you they are piled up in here. <laughs> this guy choked this frog. See ya, buddy. <laughs> this is this is the confident booster side. Look at that. I doesn't have a single hook in his mouth. The funny thing is, is that little bass still hit that big old swim bait. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's, they either must have just laid eggs or just mm -hmm. ain't been eating good. Three of them buried in his chin. Pretty good surgeon. Done this before. Uh huh. Oh, that'd be great. <laughs> the secret in catching big bass is to pee yourself. Hey, are you still out there in the water? Hey. You like wrapped around and got burned. <laughs> I did? Yeah, what was that? Oh, I wonder if I got a spoon coming undone in my head. Not that long. I don't have an empty spool of line in my bag. That's weird. Wonder how much what if there's a fish on the end of this? I wonder if it was on the ground or something, I just walked through it. You might you might have. This back in. Yeah. This is insane. Have your fingers locked together. No, I just started a new one. That's what I've been doing. Here's how I do it when I'm unruling a, a rut trying to. You don't want any, you never get I got it. Uh, I'm on my elbow so I can go like. I do that, it just gets tighter and tighter. And, then, fast. and you can't stretch it over. That way I just roll it off my fingers. Hey, this might something. have been like over by the waterfall I see something. or something. What the? That's the spool. Is that your swim bait? You no. got no line on your reel anymore? That's the That's spool. That's the spool. We're unspooling the spool. It fell out of my bag. This is my friggin' 20 pound. It's unspooling. It still hasn't unspooled. That's all we <laughs> Holy crap. I'm like, what the crap? That's a first. Hey, you can re spool it. Just throw it out. <laughs> Don't do that, don't Come lose on. it. Yep, that's my line. Bummer. You like it had there's no empty spools, yeah, because the spools out there. <laughs> Come on, this doesn't make sense. I don't have any empty spools in here. Uh, I'll give you a spool of this casking stuff. Quite the day. To replace it. Actually, I wouldn't mind trying it. You're repping for them, right? Yeah. All right, everybody. We are finished. It was a fun day. Ed missed a giant fish. He's going to regret that for a while. But uh, I caught a nice one right off the start. We did good. And I don't know. I have to tell you, I'm going to get in the truck. We're going to talk a little bit more about some casking stuff. All right. So uh, most of the fish we caught... The, the start was uh, on the big swim baits, and I had that one rigged up on my Royale Legend Elite 631 gear ratio reel, and uh, I, had to, I think I had it on the Royale Legend rod too. But we did pretty good, and I had the big swim bait hooked up on 10 pound floor coat. So I mean, if that doesn't tell you guys, I didn't have to retie once at all. 
uh, we did good and then toward the end I noticed that we were randomly hitting the top water so we switched the frogs started catching them they weren't giant ones but they started getting smaller but they were fish and we had fun we had a blast frog bite was awesome that's one way after fishing for not fishing for who knows how long getting on a frog bite feels so good I mean it makes it really exciting he hooked up on that giant one and I got excited and ran over there and I probably jinxed him I blame myself <laughs> but he lost a big one and uh, I did get to fish with that cadet I had the chatterbait hooked on it. it I didn't really get any bite so I couldn't test it out completely but for casting and casting against the wind and everything for that combo it felt really nice felt smooth the cat never really had a bad backlash at all with the casting against the wind and it was it was great for a first time rod and reel I would buy it like I would buy one now just to use it as a put in my truck fish after work it's a great it was a great combo it's a great buy you guys should head over to the cast king and check it out um, but if you guys like this video give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time hopefully it's not too long like last time and my focus was out the whole time probably but till next time guys get out and fish